Okay, and welcome back to the next episode of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Let's start all of this. Sometimes I wonder if your life could have taken you down a different path. Could have. If you had never met me and entered my service, you might have had a more peaceful. I still be the same, Ed Lord. Path. Inconsequential and spoiled rotten, like so many other nobles. Never. My duty to you is no mere obligation. I chose this. By birth. I had thought that would be obvious to you. I understand you well. Better than anyone. But when I see you at the monastery, studying with the others, it makes me wonder what kind of life you might have had without me. That's all. A better one. Such a life may have had its appeal. I thought I'd left my years of carefree innocence behind me. But I cannot deny that I find myself enjoying my time at the monastery. I feel the same way. That enjoyment, however, is only thanks to you. Standing by your side is all that truly matters to me. I see. Then I won't speak of such things again. If it's really what you want, I'll gladly keep you by my side. The path I must walk is soaked in blood. It's a path that can lead to madness can snatch away one's future and can even take one's life and the pool of blood at my feet is growing larger those stains can never be washed clean please leave the violence to me you're, you're not even good at it hubert you must be seen as pure above the fray really shouldn't allow me to paint the path that lies before you red with the blood of your enemies you're not good enough for that hubert i will do it gladly Someone should tell him. <sighs> Completely unreasonable. How will I see to this? Hubie, what are you doing here? A routine matter. No cause for concern. Ah, so it's something to do with Avi then. And? She really is all you ever think about, isn't she? Look. I know you're doing all this so that she'll like you, but if you go too far, she'll end up pushing you away. Maybe even hate you. This has nothing to do with swaying Lady Edelgard's sentiments. I am simply her humble servant. I do what is in her humble. interest. Whether she cares for me or not is irrelevant. It really doesn't look that way to me. I bet you'd follow any order Avi gave if you thought it would make her like you. Am I right? Any order? <laughs> what a thing to suggest. But the answer is no. I will decline any directive that I deem would not be beneficial to her. I don't believe you. Is that right? So, just for example, if Avi commanded you to find yourself a suitable wife, would you do it? If it would benefit her in some way for me to marry, then yes, huh. I would marry. It's easy to say that now, with no bridal party in sight. But if it was the day of the wedding? Nah, I don't believe that. I don't care <laughs> what you believe. My only wish is to see Lady Edelgard fulfill her ambitions. All other matters pale in comparison. Hubie, pale in comparison? You've seen too many operas. I don't think you understand how the world works. At all. Meh. And Meh. I don't care what you think either. Bull. I would make any sacrifice to support Lady Edelgard. It's a shame you've never experienced such devotion. That's what right. you want to call it? I don't have anyone like that right now. But maybe someday I will. Then maybe someday you'll understand. Until then, we will never see eye to eye. Now, if you will excuse me, I have much to do. You About nothing. I don't get you. Although I do find your point of view just fascinating. Yubi. Oh, you have a lot of people. Hello there, Edelgard. Are you looking for something? You could say that. I'm looking for someone named Linhart who's been skipping lectures again. Oh. I see. Well, congratulations, you've found him. Did you want him for something in particular? What else could bring me here other than your complete negligence? Well, perhaps you're interested in hearing my latest theories on the nature of crests. I suspect the formation of crests may be quite different than that recorded in church tradition. 
Before you go on, is there any discernible benefit to me allowing this battle to continue? Knowledge. Well, of course. And that would be? Knowledge. I suspect you'll find the topic rather entertaining. That's it. Yep. What more do you need? Trust research is its own reward. You know, if you ever truly applied yourself, you could become a distinguished scholar. You could use your crest knowledge to benefit the world or uncover new discoveries in magic theory. He's not going to. Why would I busy myself with such tedious work? I perform this research for my own knowledge. I'm not interested in the world at large. There's nothing wrong with a selfish drive for knowledge, but only if you put it to good use. I'm sure there must be some use. Oh, then please, tell me what potential uses you have in mind. Well, there are people out there who spend good money on bizarre artistic creations, so I'm sure my not-at-all-useful research could be used as a fine lullaby for the children of the world. <laughs> a lullaby? <sighs> I have things to do. Just know that this was my last warning. Sure, of course. Goodbye. Good. <sighs> Just look at this place. It's so beautiful, I believe I should take a nap and enjoy it properly. Linhart. Lost in thought, I see. Unacceptable. Are you not aware that a noble's duty is to be ever vigilant? Rest increases alertness. Is there something I can do for you, Ferdinand? Well, I was just passing by, and I thought I could give you a little advice. You always seem to be napping. Why not spend your free time doing something productive? Easier said than done, Ferdinand. I'm afraid I suffer from a constitution that tires easily. <laughs> hmm. Some training will remedy that. Let us work on that today. I will train you myself. Arise, Linhart. The righteous path of the noble lies before you. You're always giving it your all, aren't you? Yes, I am. Is there something wrong with that? Of course not. Well, yeah, you should probably be good at this point then. Demeanor. You go all out even when others wish you wouldn't. You work hard, inspire the admiration of others, and your dignity as a noble is beyond reproach. I consider it my mission to serve as a guide and a model for other members of the nobility. As capable huh. as you are striking. Next to you, I am a mere infant. Oh, you are far too kind. Although I do work hard each day to achieve all of which you speak. You've mastered all the important noble skills. You drink tea, talk about how great you are, ride horses. Indeed. I went for a ride earlier today. Sure you did. Is that so? You'll have to tell me about it sometime when I'm not walking away. Uh, I don't know if I got that in time. Where are you going? <laughs> I must get some sleep, being the infant that I am. Farewell for now, Ferdinand. Oh, noble among nobles. Noble among nobles? Seems a bit much. Did he say get some sleep? Hey, wait! Ah, <laughs> uh, Ferdinand, you suck. Ooh, him and Marianne. Him and Catherine. Oh, that's an interesting one. Petra, would you pause a moment? Yes? Are you wanting something? I was observing your spear work, and I wonder if you don't think your transitions are sloppy. The way you move your arm before a strong thrust hinders your movement and slows your spear on its way back. It leaves a rather large opening. Which arm? My left or right? I think the right... No, actually, it's both. It's something about the way you move your elbows. I am not understanding. Can you show me, please? Demonstrate? No, I'd hate to get sweat all over my book. But I must correct this. Please. Or are you unable to do, and you can only teach? I am more of a theorist than a practitioner. I advise and you implement. Very simple. Then... Please advise again. It's all quite simple. Sometimes you make a big stab downwards, right? Before that, you lift up. 
At that point, you sort of let the tension go and stop. It ruins the momentum of the stab. How can I be lifting up with no... no unnecessary movement? It's the arm movement that's extraneous. Calculate the locus of the spear and the elasticity of the muscles. What? Locus? Elasticity? Can you not just be showing me? Please. If you are showing me, I will learn it with quickness. I won't waste your time with such demonstrations. You're a smart one, Petra. You'll sort it out. Besides, I need to go now. I have a prior appointment to keep. Linhart only likes talking. It is on myself to prevail. I like Linhart. And that one goes there. Perfect. Oh, hey, Bernadetta. What's going on? Everything. Enemy! Enemy's here! We're under attack! Help! Someone! Anyone! Help! I'm the one who came here for help. I guess I'll just take care of it myself. I can't believe I got hurt trying to break up someone else's fight. It's ridiculous. I know that voice. All I do is step in to calm them down, and the next thing you know, they're both at my throat. Hey, you ever been in a fight? Fight? You're challenging me to a duel? No, 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 I can't! Uh, all right. That was easy enough. Not to be rude, but do you ever think that maybe your attitude makes you a little unapproachable? You should try stepping outside and socializing. I'm sure oh. you make friends in no time if you didn't waste it all in here. Outside? In no time? Oh, sure, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Well, maybe it's just not as easy for me as it is for you. Did that ever cross your mind? Why wouldn't it be? Making friends is easy. This one time, I even made friends with someone I'd just been in a fight with. I think <laughs> it was the gorgeous view that did it. <laughs> uh, we really shared a moment. Come on, let's go check it out. gonna carry you out of here easy does it and here we are see it wasn't so bad now was it and what about this view gorgeous right so this is what death is like <laughs> didn't expect it to be so sudden come and claim me sweet death but first let this evening sun wash clean my imperfect soul hey now don't go dying on me bernadetta it's just the sun Huh? What? Where am I? Oh, it's pretty. Such a lovely view. Alright, so, Casper's voice actor is Benjamin Diskin, who has voiced Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, um, Death Gun from Sword Art Online, Say Toro from Erased. Uh, where's the other important one? He was Eugene on Hey Arnold. Number two on Kids Next Door, KND. Um, Spider Ham in Ultimate Spider Man. There was a few others that I saw that I was like, oh my god. Oh yeah. Apparently Alpha and Omega, like that animated wolf movie, had five movies. He's Humphrey in four of them. Video games. Oh, that's a lot. Number two in Cartoon Network. Young Z... Zehanort in Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Jared Miller in Halo 4. Sai in Naruto Shippuden. Something from Sonic Boom, but let's not talk about that. Attack, Wardell, and Emerthor from Tales of Zestaria. Male Cross and Xenoblade. Rokoru from Tales of Zestaria. Jacob, Matthew, and Hisezo from Fire Emblem Heroes. And a bunch of other stuff. Mega Man and Mega Man 11. Young Z. Oh, yeah, that already did that one. Wow. Good for him. Good for him. Huh? 
Petra, you seem to be flourishing in your new environment. Is all going well for you? Lady Edelgard, everything is well with me. Thank you for your question. Everyone shows great kindness, even while I am still learning about the language. I'm glad to hear it. After all, a Bridget Royal like yourself is of vital importance to the future of the Empire. If you ever need anything, please let me know. Stop playing it's diplomacy. my job to watch out for you after all. If that is your want, I will rely on you if I have the need. However, I will not have that need. I can resolve any problems that occur by myself. I don't doubt it. This is weird. Perhaps I'm worrying too much. I just don't know what I would say to your family if something were to happen to you. Do not spend your worry on me. In Bridget, there is a phrase we say. You cannot shoot two birds with one arrow. I mean, you could. Bridget and I are that second bird. Your first target is your ambition. Can you disagree? Nope. There is certainly truth in your words. I do have ambitions that transcend all else for me. When I ascend the throne, there are certain things I must do. Tell me, Petra, who do you think I am? Edelgard. Oh. I will tell you. I am Edelgard von Hressfeld. And yes, I'm attempting to do what no one else can. I'm prepared to shoot two birds, or even three, with a single arrow. That is the least of the impossible things I will accomplish. <laughs> if you don't need my patronage, then prove it. Show me your power. Um... Never settle Fair. for being the bird. Be the arrow instead. You two are the best I on the take team. Your words to my heart, and you will be seeing my power. I give you my promise. <laughs> yeah. Training again. You're certainly working hard, Caspar. <laughs> oh, Edelgard. You scared me. You should have said something. I did, but no matter. What has your training with such intensity? It's never good to neglect one's training, but overdoing it is ill advised as well. You could already give any student here a battle they wouldn't soon forget. True. You think so? Well, thanks. I appreciate that. I can't really stop training, though. I gotta get better if I expect to get anywhere in this world. If memory serves, you're the second son of House Burglies, right? That's right. My older brother is the heir, and there are already too many mouths to feed in our family, so I can't count on any support. I pretty Makes much sense. have to make it on my own, you know? I understand. It's difficult being born a noble. Those who inherit everything also inherit great burdens. But the same can be said of those who inherit nothing. What are you talking about? I don't have any troubles. Who cares if I don't inherit anything? It just means I get to cut a path to my own future. Yeah. You know what your problem is, Edelgard? You always have to make everything about you. Are you picking a fight, Caspar? You won't forget it. Hey, now, come on. I didn't mean to be disrespectful. Always happy to fight, though, if that's what you want. Uh, I have no desire to bicker with you. Good luck with your training. Goodbye. What was that about? I'll never understand her. Like that didn't increase the relationship between the two of them. But apparently it did. Oh. Huh. All right. Well, we're going to call it here for this episode. So we just had another episode full of getting everyone to support level up. Thank you all for hanging out. Hope you all have a great day, evening, afternoon, twilight, whatever time it happens to be, wherever you happen to be located. Until next time. Bye.